begin our program tonight, we'll have the invitation by Mr. Hobbs. Thank you. 
Well, do you remember I won the so and so award at a certain time? And I've had students to come to me and tell me this. And uh, this helped me to recall that student because they didn't sell in South area. And boys and girls, I think you're going to find the same thing will be true here. Also, you'll notice that some of these people may have received more than one award. I'll read each of the rewards that they've received. These are not necessarily in any alphabetic order. These are all seniors. DAO award goes to Dale Massey.
James Edward Benson.
it's at 10 that we present a special people. In doing so, I would remind you, each of you senior class members, that you have two big pluses going for you. Number one is time and opportunity. You have the time to do the thing that you would like to do if you set your goal. The opportunities are available to you if you take advantage of them. And remember, that person that manages time to the greatest advantage is the person that's going to be the most successful in this life's endeavor. Now, uh, John for Mr. Gray has calculated the standing of our seniors, and in doing so, Our salutatory is Mr. Greg Benson. He is, he is the son of Royce and Dorothy Benson of Brownsville. Also, the grandson of Howard and Opal Benson of Brownsville. He is a grandson of Mrs. Gertie Johnson and the late Homer Johnson. I'd like for those parents and relatives to please stand. Great best. Please stand. Greg has pursued four years at this high school. And while he was doing this, he participated in extracurricular activities, such as he was a member of the Beta Club and the SAD Club. This is our honor club here at high school. He was captain of an academic team. This is a new thing, and uh, it's got a lot of promise. It gives her best academic students an opportunity to accept it. He was also a mascot here at the high school from 1983 to 86. He received class awards, academic All-American, the National Honor Society, Who's who among American high school students? Greg had a four-year average at this high school. Grade average of 94.674. That is tremendous. At this time, at this time I'd like to present the salute to our board, Mr. Greg Benson, who come forward, please.
realized that this was going to be the end of the good times. It's graduation from 97. Hey, Mom. We saw my friends go up the horse. Each one bringing back a memory of some good time. Even though you began to, you knew you loved your friends as a brother. You didn't know how to thank them. Well, this is my chance. I'd like to thank the teachers. I've grumbled, rapped, complained about your work, but I respect you for making me do that work for a sign. I thank you to my parents and relatives. They didn't let me quit for rest. They kept pushing me. Thank you to you guys. You're the best friends I do want to have. And I thank God for giving all of us what we will consider as well as best years of our life.
He was also a participant in the Junior Olympics for three years. Mike was a member of the academic team of the high school for four years. He received the English Two Award. He was a recipient of the World Civilization Award. Also, Alistair Stu. He was a member of our Beta Club during the 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. He was also a honor roll student for all four years here. He was a member of Coos Hook on American High School Student and a member of the National Honor Society. Mike had a 15,000 of one point average above our salutatory great family. At this time, it's a great honor to present to you our valedictorian, Mr. Mike Stewart.
gymnastics, and there are our honor graduates. These students achieved this by earning 20 credits, by having a 3.4 average for four years. And they were all tough classes, college Valentine classes. Would those students uh, stand and be recognized, please? Those nine, do we know them? If you haven't seen it, let me read them off, please. James Carnes, Jr. Janice Elmore. April Hogan. Paula Madison. Liam McCombs. Anna Skaggs. Mike Stewart. Brian Thompson. Greg Benson. James White. Stand and let's be recognized.
presidential scholarship. Highest one they have for four years. That's Greg Benson.
chemistry instructor is going to present the next award, Howard White. During the 12 years that our students are in the school system at Edmondson County, one of the basic responsibilities that we as teachers to have to instill in these students is to try and get them to appreciate more the country in which they live. One of the ways we do that, of course, is by requiring in high school the past course in American history. This year we have held a special competition which is helped to be sponsored on by the Women of the World Life Insurance Society to try to find out the top senior to achieve the highest proficiency in U.S. history. We held a test, or we held a competition this week when many of the seniors could have been somewhere else. I had about 30, I think it was, who entered the contest and participated. They had a very rigorous competition. We'd like to recognize the two top achievers in that competition. First of all, second, placing second by failing to answer three less questions correctly. Second place in this competition went to Ms. Tricia Cassidy. Uh, the 
what they have uh, accomplished, and we're proud for them. But now, we did. The people on this scholarship, men out in the world, realizing the importance of, a, of an education, they will share with some of you students here tonight who have studied and applied yourselves that uh, what it means. We're going to give away a $3,000 scholarship to three students in the Met, but before I announce these names, let me tell you just a little bit about the life of 18 winners, as I mentioned before. We had CPAs, nurses, teachers, computer operators, businessmen, engineers, medical students, and so on and so on. But we had one that did not complete out of 18. So you see, our education system in Edmondson County is not second to none, but in my opinion, we are number one. And I'm grateful for that. The diet, we're going to get three scholarships. Again, it was close. According to Mr. James, you saw that just a few decimal points separated two of you in, uh, in one of the war. This is one of the reasons for the scholarship. If you study a little harder, you're a little smarter, and then you are a winner in life. Whether you win one of these scholarships or not or not, you're better off. I put it forth that effort to study. Now, the scholarship was set up. There's three of them. One for the valedictorian, one for the highest math student, and one for the highest English student. And it is so desired that no student can win more than one. Also, it does not discriminate against anyone because of race, religion, or nationality. It is run by a board of trustees whose work is final. What act is given to the student upon restoration in an approved college or university? And the last act given after, after they turn in their grades and have rested for the next semester. It is hoped that they will show good citizenship and represent their county as well as their other winners have. Now at this time I could almost say, you three boys come on back up here. But I will call off your names. The valedictorian of Michael Stewart, who is the son of David James Stewart. Thank you. 
we will be available for pictures after the ceremony is over. Any of you that desire to take a picture after we dismiss, no matter if you be here and be available for that. The Edmondson County High School is a fully accredited school by the State Department of Education, a member of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. This graduated class in 1986 has completed all the requirements of the Kentucky State Board of Education of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, all of those required by the Edison County Board of Education, and all requirements of the Edison County High School, its faculty and staff. At this time, it is indeed a pleasure and a great honor for me to present this class to you, Mr. Webb, for the awarding of high school diplomas. I hereby recommend that they be awarded diplomas accordingly. Harvey. 
Elena Don Hart. Wayne Hart. Angela Tony Hawks. Mark K. Hawks. Jamila Embry Hazelwood. April Don Hogan. Van L. Hogan. Ronnie E. Hogan. Kevin Dwayne Hooker. Tanya Brown Hope. Angela Renee Howard. Brooks Howard. Penny Elizabeth Howard. Brian T. Hudson. Patricia L. Jaggers. Tammy J. Jaggers. Francis R. Jaggers. Deborah Ann James. Carlita L. Johnson. Melissa A. Johnson. Rex Johnson. Lily Paul Johnson. Stephen Matthew Jordan. Ashley. Shelly Diane Lashley. A. Lindsay. Nancy C. Lindsay. Randy Lee Lindsay. Ronnie F. Lindsay. Tamitha Sue Lindsay. Vicki Lynn Lindsay.